uh, I've always thought and known that some sort of reconciliation needs to be done with the way we treated black people. There was a compiled um, set of links and articles and videos and um, and you could kind of choose like if you only had five minutes that day you could they they had them bucketed into different time frames if you felt more like listening to something if you felt more like reading something um, and all of us as we started uh, digging into all this material we started a, a spreadsheet of kind of our thoughts on it so it was nice because you could see what other people had thought and what they were really enjoying um, and we would just take some time we dedicated and committed to some time every single day for 21 days um, to inform ourselves educate ourselves uh, in a way that I mean this material is out there but for it to be compiled and presented and for us to dedicate the time and energy to really consuming it was was really powerful. And then we would um, have check ins throughout the way and we would uh, we would kind of talk about what we were reading what we were feeling and you could be really honest and safe and vulnerable, um, which I think is really important because as we're all, you know, looking inward. We need to be able to be honest and be ourselves and be authentic about how we're feeling in that moment. So um, it felt really, I don't know, like a loving safe space to be able to do that. Well, I would encourage them to take it. It's, it's a class that's hard to sit through, especially if you've never been exposed to any of this because you're, you know, it's mostly invisible. Although there were plenty of laws written down to keep black people in their place. Uh, but it, all white people need to be aware of this. And it's difficult to uh, get most white people to agree to even discuss this subject. We've been learning the past few months that the only way that we're gonna get through this as a country is by um, everybody acknowledging and, and confronting where we are and begin to talk with each other about how we're going to move through it to another place. I was gonna say a better place, but at least another place. Like Amanda Gorman's poem, um, she said, um, we're not broken, we're just unfinished. and um, that is so hopeful to me. If, if we think of us as being unfinished around this, then we can begin to talk about how each one of us can participate in moving us along a little bit more um, toward racial justice and healing.